in this video i will show you how to transform a single column data into multiple columns uh, for example we have the data for the date the store name and product sku we want to separate it uh, by the data type column so for the first three sku there uh, three time the name of a uh, store is scripted and three time the date is scripted and same thing for uh, these SKUs, the name of the store and the dates are repeated. So let's start. And I will. Uh, I want to get the name of product uh, using this SKU uh, in this table too. So let's start. Uh, first, we have to convert this to a table. I have already converted this to a table. This is scan data and the product is also a product table. So by clicking on the table and in data tab, get and transform data from table or range. We have a single column data. We will convert this to text and if there is any blank, we will remove the blank we have a single uh, column data now i want to separate the skus right click duplicate column and because these are the whole number we uh, we can change this to the whole number if there is text text cannot be changed to whole number there is error i will remove the error because this is not needed we need only the SKU right click replace error with null okay this is SKU then I want the date add conditional column I say if the column 1 contains any slash it means that is date column i want to get the data from column one and the name of column should be date i put underscore two so this is the date we need the name of the store two in a separate column so i will put a condition that if sku is equals to blank and date is equals to blank then uh, we should get the data from column one again conditional column uh, it can be store and i say if sku equals to null blank so then i should get the data from uh, the first column click ok so because the both are uh, null that is why we get this two data we only need the store name and for that i will add this condition to the date should be also equals to null in formula bar after sku equals to null i type and date date should be equals to null to click ok now we have only the store name uh, i will repeat this with the blank values to selecting both of them then right click fill down we have those data repeated uh, for the blanks too now we have this in separate columns don't need this blanks i will filter the blank uh, to and uh, i will convert this to text and we even don't need this because they both are same this is sku date and store name there is another requirement too now uh, if i convert this to um, date column uh, so let me I don't need the time to right click split column by delimiter by space I will split this uh, for the leftmost delimiter now we have two columns I don't need this uh, time 
and this is also formatted as us format the first is the uh, month then the uh, day and year so uh, but the requirement is that they both are the march data so first should be the month and then date i have to switch these two values so don't need uh, this i will remove and clicking on this column click on add column from example from selection only one column is selected i will replace the nine and three first there should be three then nine uh, then 2022 and also for the uh, 10 i say 3 10 2022 if i click the code will be generated it will do exact what we need and i will rename this with date we have date column 2 now this 9 and 3 are as switched so delete this one donate this is date this is the store name store name should be text and this should be a date column we have date store name and sku uh, close and load load to this uh, for now i do not load this to anywhere just only create connection uh, let's add the product to uh, get and transform from table or range now we have two tables using the product sku i will uh, get the name of items in the scan table too so this should be a text and in scanned data i will merge the both tables merge query and this is the product using sku and product sku uh, and the kind of join is left outer all from first table matching from second uh, click ok we have this table for each of the row it is showing the product sku and item we need only the item name so double click to expand we do not want to use uh, original column name as prefix and we don't need everything we need only items click ok uh, here we have the name of items too so we have this data this time close and load to again create connection only now we have only this data in query editor but i want to uh, see this in worksheets to right click load to i want this in a table in a new worksheet click ok so in this worksheet scan data we have the sku the store the date and the items using this data we can create uh, pivot tables and we can do any other analysis too so let's create a pivot table click on this table and summarize with pivot table uh, in a new worksheet and in the row i want to put the store name and the item name then i will in the value i will count the item too so we have this data and for this store there were three two on this and one this product now i can put the date as a column so this is 9 and this is 10 and this is grand total and uh, we can see every uh, day too and I can remove and I can add as a slicer to uh, click pivot table analyzer and search slicer and I want the slicer of date any date if you want you can have this 